Hello friends, let's talk cruise food. When you book a cruise, a big part of that experience is food. We are on a seven day Alaska cruise aboard the Princess Majestic. First, let's discuss what is included on this cruise as far as food goes. When you pay for your Princess cruise, your basic food and drinks are included. You could buy nothing extra and you would eat really well while on the cruise ship. The drink options would be water in a glass, juices with breakfast and basic coffee, and some lemonade at lunchtime or dinner. Let me give you a quick overview of the dining options on the Princess Majestic. Let's begin with the ship's buffet, the World Marketplace. This is open from breakfast till 10 p.m. at night and offers a large array of food from around the world. It also has an entire room dedicated to the pastries, desserts, and sweet treats. There are staple items at the buffet every day like fresh fruits, bread, and a salad bar, as well as a rotating menu of tasty dishes from around the world. The only problem we found with the buffet is zeroing in on what you wanted to eat for that meal and not stuffing yourself. We enjoyed some foods from the buffet more than others, but we were always able to find something that we enjoyed at every meal. Next up, we have the International Cafe, which is found in the main piazza of the ship. This is open 24 hours a day and offers breakfast pastries, sandwiches, desserts, and coffee. It is a great option for grab and go because they quickly hand you your food after you choose it from a display case. We often found ourselves at the International Cafe for a quick bite to eat. Next, we have the three sit-down dining rooms on the ship. They are called the Symphony, the Allegro, and the Concerto. In these dining rooms, you are handed a menu to order from. There are several items on the menu that are considered princess favorites and they show up every day, but the rest of the menu changes daily. This is a full menu including bread, starters, salads, pastas, main dishes, and they included vegetarian, and then many beef, pork, chicken, and fish options every night. And of course, lots of desserts. One of these restaurants is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The other two are only open for dinner. We found it helpful to reserve our dinner times in the dining rooms through the Medallion app. All three dining rooms serve the same nightly dinner and you can choose to be sat with a group or on your own. We did both and really enjoyed getting to know new people at the group tables, but we did find that this made dinner last at least two hours, so you need to plan for that. There are no assigned tables on the Princess Majestic like you would find on other cruise ships, so you come, check in, and get sat at an available table. It was also fun to see in the dining room that they also had many Alaskan food options. Because we were on an Alaska cruise, we felt like this was a nice touch. So lots of salmon and halibut and locally caught fish options on our menu each night. Next, there are several specialty restaurants around the ship that are complimentary. These are still included with your basic cruise package. This includes a noodle bar serving Asian inspired soups all day by the pool, a wood-fired pizza restaurant called Alfredo's where you sit down and order, and a burger bar that is also by the pool that serves burgers and hot dogs and tacos. There is also a complimentary soft serve ice cream station. Princess has an app that allows you to order certain food items to yourself wherever you are on the ship. You wear a medallion while you are on the ship and this tracks where you are so you can order food from the app and have it delivered to wherever you are and it's pretty amazing. It is a limited menu but it's a great option whether you want room service or some food by the pool. As long as you have your medallion on, they can find you on the ship and deliver you food and drinks from their app menu and this was a really nice touch. In addition to the regular room service that you order through the app, you can also pre-order breakfast to be delivered to your room in the morning at a certain time by filling out a form and leaving it with your room steward the night before. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of food and all of those options are included with your cruise package. Now, what if you want something a little bit extra, a little bit special, you can get that on the Princess Majestic as well. First up, we have drink packages. There are drink packages for all taste buds. While you can choose to buy drinks a la carte throughout your trip from like three to 12, $15 a piece, 
There are also packages that allow you just to order as many drinks as you want a day according to your package. If you like sodas and mocktails and fancy coffee, there's a package for you. There are also alcohol packages at different levels depending on how many and what kinds you like to drink. If you like having lots of drink options, it is probably worth buying a drink package. We don't drink alcohol, so we cannot speak for the alcoholic packages, but we did get the basic drink package and enjoyed sodas, ginger beers, and mocktails throughout our trip and with our meals. On our cruise ship, there were several restaurants that you could pay extra for for dinner. There was a nice steakhouse, a seafood restaurant, and an Asian restaurant. There were also some upgrade options in the main dining room, such as lobster or a fancy steak, and you could pay 15 to 30 extra dollars to get something extra in those main dining rooms. We really enjoyed the unlimited amount of complimentary food and didn't feel the need to purchase any extra food packages while on our ship. As you can see, there were a lot of food options. You could eat just about any minute you wanted to while cruising. Now that we've covered all the options, I will share with you some of the yummy food we enjoyed while on our ship and give you our opinion of those. So let's start out with breakfast. Most mornings we found ourselves in the World Fresh Marketplace Buffet. We enjoyed eggs and bacon, pastries, and my favorite was the bran muffins. They were so delicious. They always had really good fresh fruit as well, which we enjoyed, and we loved sitting on the back balcony or on our own balcony so that we could have the beautiful view while eating breakfast. One morning I headed down to the International Cafe. They had lots of muffins there, breakfast burritos, breakfast sandwiches, donuts, yogurts, smoothies. This was a fun place to check out for breakfast as well. Uh, we've been missing out. I think this is the best looking breakfast on the entire ship. Ordering breakfast was nice and convenient, but I did prefer eating in the restaurants for breakfast. Next up, we have lunch options. The Alfredo's Pizzeria was very, very tasty. The pizzas were great, but it always had a very long line, so we only ate there once. Our favorite lunch spot was this noodle bar. All of the broths were so rich and tasty, and you could add in all these yummy mix-ins. This was one of our favorite things to eat for lunch on the whole entire ship. Sometimes it had a line of a few people, but it never took more than five minutes to get your bowl of soup. Our least favorite lunch on the ship was the burger and lobster grill. I will give it to them. They were grilling up the burgers and hot dogs fresh, but there was just nothing special about this food. It was very ordinary. There was nothing wrong with this food. It just wasn't that exciting and we only had it once. Next up, we will cover dinner. There are a few days that we just wanted a simple dinner, so we headed to the buffet. The best dinners we had up there was when we chose one type of food, like this Indian food, and got a salad, or some nights they had a lot of good seafood, and then we enjoyed a bunch of shrimp and seafood soup, or just a taco. We found that if you tried to combine too many types of food, you left feeling really unsatisfied, but as long as you stuck with just one kind, you felt great. When picking your dining options on the cruise, you do need to consider what attire you want to wear. In the main dining rooms, some nights are smart casual, so you want to dress up a little bit. They also have more formal nights where they want you to wear like a suit jacket and a dress. If you're wanting to stay in your shorts and flip flops and t-shirt, you might want to go to the buffet. That is one thing that kind of surprised me was how many times I was changing my clothes while on the cruise. I was wearing something during the day, then I would change into nicer clothes for dinner, and then I'd usually change back into some warmer clothes for sitting up on the deck at night so I found that there were a lot of clothing changes every single day while here on the boat. I have to say that some of our best meals on the ship were had in the dining room. They always started with a lot of great appetizers like a Caesar salad and a French onion soup. Each night had different types of salad to choose from and most of them were delicious. Not everything was a home run, but I did love that we could try things that we may not have at home. There was duck on the menu, lots of seafood, 
and I ordered some things just because I wanted to see if it was a new way that I would like to cook something. Mark really enjoyed his beef wellington. We had polenta, seafood stew, lots of different meat options. They had chicken options. There were just so many to choose from. This pork belly was not my favorite, probably my least favorite meal of the trip, but Mark really enjoyed his prime rib as well as his shrimp. Mark quickly realized that you could order multiple entrees or multiple desserts if you wanted to try more than one thing, which was fun on certain occasions if there was just extra things that you wanted to try. I do have to say that most of the desserts were just okay. None of them were just like, oh my goodness, so amazing, but they were good enough to have a bite or two and just feel satisfied that you had something yummy, but none of the desserts just blew us away. They were just kind of ordinary. We did have one night where the meal was a bit fancier and we had escargot and then they had the surf and turf steak and lobster at no extra cost. If you wanted to order a second steak and lobster for yourself, you did have to pay extra, but the first one was complimentary. So Mark and I both ordered ourselves a steak and lobster and Mark also tried the ahi tuna, which was just really yummy. And this meal had a fancy dessert to go along with it. They were these pistachio mousse cakes, which were really fun. I loved the green color and they were quite tasty. Last of all, we need to talk about treats. There were lots of places where you could grab a little treat on the ship. The International Cafe was a great place to grab them. These little mini cheesecakes were actually some of the best desserts that I found on the entire ship. They had them in different flavors every day and they were quite good. When it came to the cakes up in the buffet, I never found one that I actually enjoyed more than a tiny taste of. Some of these bread puddings were really good. They did have cookies. I never took a picture of the cookies, but they were tasty. And the soft serve ice cream was also yummy and just a fun treat to grab and walk around with. So we knew before coming on this cruise that food was going to be a big part of the cruise. I just really didn't know what to expect and I think the food was pretty good. So overall, there's plenty of food. You're not gonna go hungry, and there's a lot of selection. Lots, lots and lots to choose from. Sometimes the quality wasn't the best, but I had to take it into consideration the fact that we'd only paid really not that much money to come on this cruise, and so for what we paid, I thought the food was excellent. Yeah, because when you pay for the cruise, you're paying for all your food, as much food as you could ever want to eat. Like you could eat all the time if you wanted to. And you're paying for your transportation from place to place and you're paying for your lodging. So with all that considered, like the food is a great deal. And it really just depended on what you ordered. Like we ordered some really, really delicious food. And then sometimes you ordered things that were just okay. I feel like that's kind of the case with any restaurant you go to. One fun thing though, is since we had already paid for everything up front, it didn't, there really was no risk to try new things. So yes. we tried some new things that I never would have eaten before. We ate snails, escargot. We had uh, seared ahi tuna steak. Um, what else? I ordered duck. I've had duck at home, but I've never ordered duck at a restaurant. I tried halibut several different ways because I wanted to get ideas on how to cook it. So, it was really fun to just get to try new things because you weren't worried that if you didn't like it, um, you like couldn't eat again. You know, that was your one big meal of the day that you were trying to go to a fancy restaurant. So it allowed you to like try new things and just really have fun with eating. Overall, we've really enjoyed our eating on the Princess Majestic and it's been great to have all the food ready when we wanted and not have to do the dishes. Yes, I think that's the biggest thing, like how much time we've had because the food is always ready. We didn't have to clean up after ourselves. We didn't have to go do the shopping, like total luxury. I, it's just been so much fun. Thank you so much for cruising with us. We are so grateful for each and every one of you. And we'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life cooking back in our own kitchen. Surprise, let me tell you about dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about dinner. <laughs> well,
Whether you're planning on cruising to Alaska or just want to feel like you came on the cruise with us, make sure you check out our other cruise videos. They are linked down in the description below. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.